What's up guys, this is Quante and welcome to Let's Mess Around on Super Mario Bros. X. And you're probably curious as to what this is, and it's basically a fan game that you can actually play. The Invasion 2, you know, that's the, the name of the actual game itself, I guess. But you can actually make your own levels and stuff in the level editor. Even though you're not actually, you know, editing the levels in the game, sort of like Lunar Magic style, you actually, you know, can build everything from scratch, build your own world maps, and all, all that good stuff. And me and a couple of my good Let's Playing friends actually did do this, like A.S. Black and um, Starman Ness. But today I'm going to be messing around on Super S. Black World, obviously made by A.S. Black. And his is actually really clever, like with this Mr. Saturn here, look at what he says. You know, like, it's dangerous to go alone, take this. Just like that, that stuff from Zelda, you know, like all that good stuff. You know, him just being very clever. I should have stolen that saying. But let's start the short beginning. And that's basically the first level of his game, and the way he- Oh god, I did not know that Yoshi was there. <laughs> I really didn't. Because I've kind of played his, like, his game a few times, but I did not know that Yoshi was there. Oh, very good. Very clever girl, Sam. Clever girl. <laughs> but I, what I was about to say was that um, Sam really likes to base his levels around, like, very clever things. I've used the word clever with him so much, but that's the only way to describe, you know, his personality. And that certainly translates into his level design, even though that didn't really show what I was talking about. But... It, I meant clever in terms of, like, all sorts of very good puzzles that I probably wouldn't have thought of on my own unless playing this. But some of his first levels are actually just really short for no apparent reason. Like this one, Bowser's Evil Test, you know, it's just really short. Like, right after you get past Bowser, and he died because of that shell, oh well. And there's no reason to have Yoshi here because you have to use these ladders to climb. <laughs> I still laugh about that, just, that blarg is just sticking out of the side of that lava and it just makes me laugh every time for some reason. <laughs> but yet again, another level completed, and it's not really a short thing, it's just that for some reason most of his, you know, first levels are really short and then they progressively get longer and more complex. I guess it's just to introduce you to the game or something. But, I mean, it's a really good, like, fan game, Super Mario Bros. X is, mainly because you can do all sorts of stuff with it, and even, like, the stuff that you can do with it isn't everything that you can do with it. You can basically customize it all yourself, which is what I like about it, and which is why I like using it. And I'm eventually just gonna show off my own stuff. But <laughs> there's the freaking Luigi. Oh god, I destroyed- Oh, I destroyed Luigi. If he watches this, he's just gonna be so disappointed. And I died. Oh, maybe that was for destroying Luigi. But how did I even- What? <laughs> Luigi just uh, turned into a mushroom. Oh, I killed Luigi. <laughs> But actually, he made it so um, Luigi appears in the block, and then you can actually collect Luigi, and Luigi acts as a mushroom. And I guess that was sort of supposed to be like a joke. <laughs> so I actually want to pull that off before this paratrooper comes and does any damage to him. There we go, collect Luigi, and it just turns into a mushroom in your inventory. But that'd be funny if like Luigi's head was just in that box, as brutal as that sounds, and you could just use him to your will, you know. Because Ouija is just the best item that you can get in any game. It makes you practically invincible. Holy crap, huh? Why am I having so much trouble with this level? You know, there are plenty of other levels in this, like, game. I, I want to call it hack. You know, that's, that's the word that wants to come out of my mouth, but yet that's not what this is. <laughs> Despite it being edited levels and all that, but still. Not every edited level is considered to be a hack, because it's not based off of the Super Mario World engine or something like that, you know. And, ooh, this is probably where, um, things start to become clever, because you see this is sort of a Goomba puzzle, because each of these Goombas sort of act as a switch, and then you have to basically hit the correct Goomba to activate some of the stuff at the bottom. And that's basically just how you get the contents down there. And I thought the first time when I saw this, I thought it was really clever. But there's not going to be a way for me to get the yellow one because he's just like lodged in between all those other Goombas. But I mean, who needs that mushroom anyway? Who really cares? 
Alright, now we can go on to level 4. And I would actually go up here to this one, but there's no physical way for me to actually exit out of that level. And I don't want to really want to have to deal with that. And oh god, it's a good thing I have the Tanuki suit, because I actually just screwed myself over just then. Because this level is called Turtle Escortion, and you have to actually guide the Koopa Shell, that one down there, and make it do stuff. <laughs> like, it actually interacts with stuff at the bottom, and then make stuff at the top happen. It's actually a really clever idea. And, I don't know, his level design was really great, except for that. I should have paid more attention to the Koopa Shell, and I actually could have gotten through that flawlessly. Uh, maybe I should go back and kill this Goomba then, so I can actually do good. You know, that, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Oh, I'm stuck. And I died. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, Sam, I hate you. Oh. No. 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 Well, I guess I should actually explain why I'm making this a let's mess around instead of a full-on let's play. And mainly that's because, like, most of the projects that we're making, like this one, my game, and the one Star Ness is making, you know, they're basically, I guess you could say, still in beta. Like, we're not done with everything. Like, so far, most of us have only designed two worlds. And so making this a let's mess around would just be beneficial to all of us, mainly because, you know, it won't be guaranteed to come out every day or even, you know, every week and stuff like that, because, you know, there's no guarantee they're going to work on this stuff, like, all the freaking time. You know, I don't work on mine every single day, but I wish I would, but for some reason I just need to come up with a, a lot of inspiration for level design. And sometimes playing other people's actually helps you come up with inspiration. Instead of just flat out copying them, you know you could get ideas from other people, and holy crap. But see, like, I like this idea, you know, he used this block, and you know you're doing all this stuff with it. You know, it's... I mean, I'm not gonna say it was a clever idea, because anyone could have thought of this, but the way he implemented it into his level design was pretty clever, I guess I could say. You know, whatever. You know, I don't really know how else to explain it other than freaking AS Black is the best game designer on this planet. <laughs> and that's the end of this level. I thought I was actually going to get hit there. And let's see if I can get the 3-up moon without getting hit. Yes. That's, that's good. That's good. I wonder if I'm going to do this entire world in one episode. I actually don't want to do that, mainly because... <laughs> It's actually pretty short. I'm not even sure if he's done with his um, second world yet, because I haven't played his second world. He actually sent it to me right after he was done with his second world, so I'm not even sure if, you know, everything's already done. Ooh, this level's fun, but it's yet, yet again, another one of those short levels. You get this billy gun. That's the actual official name for it, and in the fan game, it's a billy gun. It's a really weird name. Holy crap. Oh yeah, these boos. You can shoot all of these with the gun and actually get, like, lives and stuff. And, yeah. The basic objective of this is just to actually just hit all the Goombas so you can fall to the next level. And then destroy everything. And I think that might be it for this episode. <laughs> so... In the next episode of Let's Play, or not Let's Play, Let's Mess Around on Super S Black World, we will be going to Jerry's Fort, and maybe even possibly doing some of World 2, because I haven't actually played much of World 2 yet. So I'll see you guys then.